When I was a young lad, just after I turned three, my nana sat down and she knitted me a little gollywog, a little gollywog. And he and I would sit down and we would pretend, and he became my very bestest of friends, my little gollywog, my little gollywog. But I never looked at his colour and I never looked at his race. I just liked his real cool hair and smile across his face. If they can make white dolls, then why can't they make black? Raise your voice and shout out loud. Bring the gollywogs back. Now that I am older, I have been told so that my little gollywog, he will have to go. Poor little gollywog. Gollywog. In this day and age, apparently it's politically incorrect to use the phrase gollywog. Shows a lack of respect to smiley black people, smiley black people. But I never looked at his color and I never looked at his race. I just like his real cool hair and smile across his face. If they can make white dolls, then why can't they make black? Raise your voice and shout out loud. The gollywog's back. In my opinion, it's not the phrase, but the intent. When I call him gollywog, he knows just what is meant. I love my little gollywog. I love my little gollywog. And in a heart to heart, I told him that he has to be strong. That it is our attitudes. Not he that is wrong, brave little gollywog, brave little gollywog. 'Cause I never look at his color and I never look at his race. I just like his real cool hair, and smile across his face. If they can make white dolls, then why can't they make black? Raise your voice and shout out loud. Bring the gollywogs back. Raise your voice and shout out loud. Bring the gollywogs back.